welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today, and so today I'm going to be talking about my recent hair growth and a question that I got on my last video where, where someone had left a comment. The person had said that my hair texture looks like it's a lot different. My hair texture looks like it has definitely changed. So of course, I thought, wow, that would be a great topic for a video because you know when someone tells you that something is going on with you and you you don't notice immediately, but then when someone says it, you start to look and you're like, oh my God. Because I was thinking that my hair has like kind of does look a little bit different as far as like it's longer i just noticed a lot of growth and when someone noticed it as well i was like oh okay like my hair definitely has kind of changed not a lot i first wanted to go over the reasons for hair texture change so someone's hair texture can actually drastically change due to certain conditions or due to um like changes that they have in their life period so that can make a person's hair go like from one thing to the next. So the first reason that your hair texture could definitely change all has to do with your health and diet. So if your health and your diet are kind of lacking and you have, you know, if you, you're sick all the time, um, it requires you to take medicine. Sometimes medicines can result in hair changing, hair loss, things like that. So when it comes to your diet and the health of your body, it definitely affects your hair. And of course it's gonna affect your hair texture because some people will have like thinner hair than they had before, or their hair maybe won't be as healthy. They'll have like brittle hair. Definitely the things that you eat, if you have a really poor diet, then your hair won't be at as, to me, in my opinion, I honestly think it's just science, but some people may say like, oh, I have really long hair and I eat McDonald's every single day because I know I'm going to get a comment like that. But in my opinion, if your health is, if you don't take care of your body, your hair health is probably not at its peak. Like you don't have the, you're probably not at the most healthiest hair if, you're, if your actual body is not healthy um, because your hair does grow out of your scalp, which is a part of your body. So hair health body they all go together in my cat in my opinion so that definitely can take a toll on the texture of your hair because it can just change your hair in general your hair so guys i wanted to mention that the things that we eat and the way that we treat our body has a lot to do with our hair mainly because of the fact of the health of your body the nutrients in your body all makes it a much easier environment for hair skin your energy, everything to just thrive in a lot better. So when it comes to your hair texture, this can definitely affect it because your hair may not be as strong or it may not be as willing to accept certain products as it would be if you had optimum health when it came to the body. So I mentioned in number one that health and diet is very important and that medications can be a result in hair texture change. So number two, it definitely is using um, certain types of medication. So like I said, they'll even say on like the warning labels that some medication does cause your hair to get you can have hair loss. Um, some treatments that they do in the doctor or at the hospital cause you to have hair loss, or it'll cause you to have brittle hair. I know there's a lot of people who um, contact me and say like my growth oil helped them and they were on some type of treatment or they were going through some type of condition where they had to take medicine. Guys, I wanted to point out the reason that some medications have such an effect on your hair is because they're super strong and a lot of the chemicals get released into your body, which in turn can sometimes affect um, other parts of the body, such as your hair, such as your skin. So when you're taking medicine, you just want to look at maybe the warning labels or like the side effects to see if this is a thing for the type of medicine that you're taking. I'm not saying that all medicine does this, it's just some treatments do. I also wanted to bring up the fact that aging can also cause your hair to texture to change. Because if you're aging, sometimes people's hair gets thinner with age. So the fourth thing I wanted to mention is chemical processing your hair. We all know this, that if you put like a texturizer or a perm in your hair, you're gonna change the texture of your hair. Your hair is going to appear differently. I've seen that some people use texturizers um, on their hair. If their hair is, I, I don't know the, I don't know all about texturizers, but I believe that if your hair is super curly and you put a texturizer on, it'll have more, you'll have more wavy hair. Like it'll make your hair a little bit more wavy 
or if your hair is like super thick it'll kind of like make it thinner let me know down in the comment section if i'm going on the right track with that but i believe that texturizing your hair changes the texture of your hair which is why it's called that if you know about that let me know down in the comment section but that is a definite reason of hair texture change and i wanted to very much clear that up that i have not done a texturizer because that's the first thing that people like to say when they see like a change in someone's hair they're like oh like you don't like the texture of your hair you changed it and you didn't tell youtube no i 100 percent did not do that so guys i decided to look up what a texturizer was because i was very curious Basically, a texturizer is a chemical-based process that is a little milder than an actual relaxer and is just basically known as a texture softener. So it's pretty popular from what I've seen, but it's a texturizer which is implied to like curly or kinky hair and you do it for a brief amount of time and it pretty much loosens the curl. So it kind of acts as a relaxer, but it's not as strong as one. It doesn't completely straighten your hair as well. So of course you would use this for loosening your curls, but it's also a chemical change to the curls. So I probably wouldn't recommend it on my end, but a lot of people have used it and had good results. You can actually search on YouTube for people who have used it if you're wanting to know more about this. So I looked at all these reasons and I thought none of these fit me. Like none of these fit me. I don't fit into any of these categories. So when I put up a poll on my Instagram, which I'll put right here, I asked you guys, do you think that my hair texture changed as well? By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and head over to my Instagram. It's Shantae's The Way on Instagram as well. And a lot of people on there were saying that my hair tech, they believe that it has changed. So it wasn't a huge difference. Some people said no, some people said yes, but, but I did get a couple of you who direct messaged me on Instagram, letting me know like your stories about hair texture change. And most of you were saying that my texture doesn't look like it actually changed. It just looks like my hair is getting longer, which in turn is making my curls appear looser. So that definitely fits me. My hair has grown so much and it's actually growing like a weed <laughs> um there's days when i wake up and i'll do my hair and i'm like stretching it all the way out i'm like oh my gosh my hair is really growing so i'm gonna put up a picture of my hair in 2017 it was at this length um i do have some pictures from 2016 as well that i'm gonna put up to show you guys the difference in my textures and then i'll put up now which definitely is a lot longer and I'm actually very, very happy with the length of my hair. What happens is your curls, when your hair is shorter, are a lot more bouncy, they're a lot more um, springy, like up, and they don't have a lot of weight weighing them down to appear like way down. When your hair grows, your curls will start to appear more way down. So you'll notice that when someone who had really long hair cuts their hair shorter, their curls now come in a lot more defined, their curls a lot more bigger, versus when their hair starts to grow out, their hair will, some people's hair will start to get very, like it'll be different, like, and we'll be like, wait, what happened to your hair? It's not the same because your hair has a lot more weight on it. Like now, I actually didn't put a lot of gel in my hair. I like try to put the, least amount of gel that I could just because of this video I wanted to show you guys that it depends also on what product you use for the day so my hair right now actually to me it doesn't look any different from any of my other videos like my hair just looks the same but if I was to switch it up like one thing up and like put more gel in my hair or like you know put more product in my hair to make my hair like more elongated and if that makes sense and really work with my hair to elongate it, I would have more defined curls and my curls will be more way down because I use more product. Does that make sense? So today I didn't use a lot of product. I wanted to show you guys my hair is very much bigger than what you know it has been lately but my preference is to use like a gel on my hair because it makes my hair look more defined which I have been doing that when my hair was shorter but I guess you guys just didn't notice it and now it's way more noticeable because my hair is way down even more with the length the product the gel it's all just like my hair is just like okay we have a lot of things going on here so the next thing that people were asking me um, on Instagram is through the direct message were the question is like well what are you doing now like what what allowed your hair to grow so much and even on my last video people were saying like what are you doing to your hair to make it grow so much i 
definitely use my growth oil. Like that's what I've been using before I even was selling it. Um, that is what helps my hair to grow. So I, I use this all the time. I use this to seal my hair. Sometimes I do like scalp massages and I put it on the tips of my fingers and put it on my on my um, scalp. Um, this does actually work. Like it's definitely a product that works. I'm not just saying that. And this is what I use. You guys can actually go on to nourishbyshantae.com and look at some of the reviews from other people so that you don't have to just take my word for it. Also use um, my wash routines which I do show sometimes here on YouTube. So if you want to check out my wash, my wash routines, go ahead and click right here. I'll have my wash routines here. Um, if you want to check out some of my DIY deep conditioners, um, follow the links here as well. I don't take any vitamins. I don't take anything to make my hair grow like internally that I haven't told you guys about. Um, I have a lot of videos showing and telling you guys what I do for my hair growth, which I'll link up here as well. So you guys can just like binge watch on those videos to see all the steps that I took to achieve hair growth. But as far as something that I can tell you guys that I've been doing differently, I don't have anything that I've been doing differently. I actually been doing less and less and I haven't had as much time to focus on my hair because of me working on my <laughs> products that are coming out soon that you guys will know about. I haven't had a lot of time to focus on my hair care. So I've actually left my hair alone more than I usually do. My hair hasn't been like top priority for me because I've been focused on other things. So I truly believe that when you're not really worried about something and it just, and you're just like, oh, like I'm on with my life. I'm not even worried about it. Most of the time that, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's, it's almost like it'll just happen. Like it'll like good things just start happening because you're not really like worried about it. I'll wake up one day and my hair will be like, so guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That was like a long explanation of my recent hair change and my texture. Leave your comments, they're very much appreciated. I try to read um, most of my comments and get back to you guys with videos, especially if people request videos. So make sure that you leave comments down below. Also let me know, has your texture ever changed? Like actually changed? And what was the process to get it back to you know, your regular texture. Also let me know about texturizers. How do those things work? Or if you simply just had recent hair growth and your texture and result had a change because of the way of your hair, let me know down in the comment section as well. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to get to 200K. I'm so close, almost there, almost there. So guys, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, like I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, yes. And stay tuned for more updates on my Nourish by Chante products. I know a lot of you have been emailing and trying to figure out what's going on. I've been working, 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 and more updates are gonna be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for all of your support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.